At Kent University, the Faculty of Bioscience Engineering offers a two-year master's program on nutrition and rural development. The program gives specific attention to the international dimension of nutrition and food security and challenges faced in Belgium, Europe and the Global South. Using better nutrition and food security as a starting point, students in the programme will contribute to sustainable development at household, national and international level. Two majors are offered. Public health nutrition and nutrition security and management. The programme is joined by a very international student population coming together in the city of Ghent. This city in the heart of Europe is home to 80,000 students and a breeding ground for state-of-the-art nutrition-related initiatives. There are a number of factors that we find very important in the course. One is the, that we have a multitude on teaching forms, so we have uh, sometimes very participatory group work where students exchange their views. Today we focus on childhood obesity. We think about the factors that could contribute to childhood obesity and from breaking it down into smaller parts we can really look at it in a very whole way and how everything interacts with each other. We also value very much that students can think critically. So we give them topics that they have to present so that other students can challenge the position that the students are putting forward, which prepares them also for future work. We have 800 million people who are undernourished and we need to have professionals or people who have expertise in nutrition so that we can come up with solutions. And for me, wanting also to work in an international organization, this is one of the steps to prepare me for my future career. I'm teaching the parts on development economics in the first year and then the course on the rural development and agriculture from a global south perspective in the second year. The idea with those two courses is to put the issues of food and food production and food systems into a broader context of development, rural development and human development. What I am really fascinated about is that the student-professor relationship is very, very close. Professors are really, really helpful to students. Like, don't be afraid to ask any question. There is never a stupid question. Today we will go in the city of Ghent and visit a few initiatives related to nutrition. I was wondering, do you, are you guys always able to finish distributing the fresh food and vegetables or what do you do with the surplus, for example? We have a, a small school uh, nearby. We uh, divide it there. Refugees or homeless people get extras and then our shop. For me, the biggest surprise was we are, what, 10 minutes from the faculty and you realize you live in a bubble, I think. So the idea behind the market is that um, producers, mostly small producers, can sell directly to uh, the consumer. The impact on diets, do you think it's more nutritious food? I think it gives you a better variety. And why? From the selection, like I've seen vegetables I've never seen before in mm -hmm. supermarkets where I've been looking for and I'm like, ah, it's here. Are you willing to pay an extra fee for these products? Yeah. Right, it's still difficult because we're students. Yeah, I was very attracted to Ghent because when I look into vegetarianism and like the green movement, it's, Ghent is the leading mm -hmm. city, I think, in the world. I don't believe that everyone should be vegetarian. I think they should just cut down on meat and I'm just doing my part. But I think it's also the environmental factor. I think we should just change the way our food supply system goes.